All right, it's time now for Board Games, brought to you by John Stewart and Drain Cleaning, the name to know when the drains don't flow. Ted, we've got bait and switch written at the top of the board because we wanted to take a closer look at this first Christian Wilkerson touchdown. And what the Patriots had done earlier in the game was they took Kendrick Bourne in this type of alignment, and they handed off to him on end arounds, these sort of jet sweep end arounds. Twice, they picked up 17 yards. So the Jags are sitting here on the six-yard line looking at this saying, we got to make sure we have this thing covered. So they send Chris, uh, Kendrick Bourne yep. in motion to start this play, but then they get hit with something else. So how did That's they exactly. react to Bourne's motion? Yeah, there? so when Bourne motions over, all right, uh, when he motions from right to left, it triggers something. They fake the handoff to Bourne like it's going to be a jet sweep, but it's not. The quarterback keeps it, okay? But as he motions over, it triggers the defense to react. So now this cornerback who had Kendrick Bourne man-to-man -man here, now he goes to play the free, the strong safety, free safety position, and now that safety comes over here to cover Bourne man-to-man. -man. Well, now that puts a cornerback at the safety position, so now you already got a guy that's out of position for the Patriots, so perfect. On the back side of this play, where all these guys, they have man-to-man -man on all these guys over here, they act, the, the, uh, the, the offensive line looks like it's going to be a run play. They all pull. They pull the tight end, Hunter Henry, he pulls. And so to the, this side, it looks like it's a run this way. However, you have Christian Wilkerson, who kind of acts like he's going to come out and he's going to block a little bit uh, because it's all, it looks like it's run action. And then he sneaks out and escapes to the opposite side, which is a great play design. Here's the thing. The guy that's covering Wilkerson right here. Man to man. He, yes, he gets caught up in the wash right here. And so Christian is able to kind of get free, and now he has his guy covering him man-to-man, -man, but he's in a trail technique. And all he has to do, just like Buffalo was doing the Patriots last week, is outrun the guy. And, okay, that's Keep a going. tough cover. So he fakes the, the jet motion sweep. You have the running back, Brandon Bolden, going out to the flat. You have the half rollout by the quarterback right here. You really only have one guy, maybe two guys in the route right here. You have a guy in trail technique and a quarterback who's now playing safety who's out of position, can't make the play, and it's a nice, easy throw for an easy touchdown right there. Really great play design, Phil, kind of using plays that preceded this play to set up this nice play action pass for a touchdown to Christian Wilkerson. Big time confidence building performance for Mac Jones. It had been a while since we'd seen a clean game from the rookie quarterback, but between Jones's performance and Josh McDaniel's play calling, that's exactly what they got on Sunday. All right, it's time now for Ted Neek. We just took a close look at Christian Wilkerson's first touchdown on the board. Now we're going to take a look at the second. We bring in our guys, Tom and Tom, Giles and Curran, to help break this thing down, Ted, because this was, an, this was a play that was also extremely, extremely well-schemed, yep. I, I thought. Yeah, great play designs, all, I thought, all game. I mean, uh, Josh McDaniels did a fantastic job on both of these touchdown throws to Christian Wilkerson. And this is what – we're going to look at the second touchdown to him. And this was a really, really uh, – they've, they've done this play in the past, okay? They've done this play in the past with a few wrinkles. They did it a great – they did a great job in this game. It will show you how they executed this kind of fake bubble screen and then were able to hit R Wilkerson down the, down the seam who was wide open. Okay, and in this uh, scenario – uh, my man Tom's going to be the quarterback right here. So you're going to be in the shotgun. So back up a little bit. You're in the shotgun. You come up here. You're a little bit uh, – you're Kendrick Bourne, uh, yep. Phil. All right, you're off the line a little bit. And Giles, you're Christian Wilkerson. You're up on the line of scrimmage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the role of DB covering Christian Wilkerson in this spot. Okay. And what you got to understand is as a DB, you have – to know what your coverage is, and you also have to know what your run responsibility is, okay? So this DB who's lined out to the outside has Christian Wilkerson man-to-man, -man, but he also has force on the run. So he has to make sure if it's a run to his side that he is the outside guy and forces it back inside, okay? So he's thinking two things versus the run and then what he has to do versus the pass. Here we go. So at the snap of the ball, at the snap of the ball, he, this, this, uh, uh, yes, Kendrick Bourne, he flares out like it's going to be a, th a bubble screen to, uh, to, uh, to Kendrick Bourne. And so this DB who's got uh, Wilkerson man to man, he sees that. He starts, he goes right by his coverage. Instead of paying attention to his coverage, he sees this, and he goes right by his guy to get Kendrick Bourne. Yet the quarterback just does a little fake to him and then hits Christian Wilkerson down the sideline wide open. It's that play design, that kind of little shoulders uh, movement, if you will, to Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne selling it, acting as if he's going to catch the ball. And then Wilkerson faking like he's going to block and then taking off right when his DB goes right on by him. Excellent play design. 
excellent execution and an easy seven points for the quarterback. Yeah, and you had Jacoby Myers, who was here as part of this formation as well. He came off the line faking his yep. block. So you had essentially four people between the quarterback, Bourne running the little flare, and the two blocking wide receivers, all selling one play, when in reality it was something else. That was something that Gunnar Olszewski actually scored on late in the Chargers game last year. He scored on a little slant, took it all the way to the house. The Patriots are next level in their play design and in how they deceive and how they set you up from play to play to hit you on big plays later in the game. All right, Karen, give me that ball. You're out of here. Attaboy. All right, very nice. Very nice. Excellent work. Good. All right, we're back out here for board games brought to you by John Soren. Drain cleaning the name to know when the drains don't flow. We just heard Kyle Duggar there, Ted, talking about the double buzz that helped him and the Patriots come up with yet another turnover in this game against the Jaguars. Can you explain to us what three double buzz is? Because that's what we got at the top of the board. You got it, Phil. And so uh, three double buzz. Here's, here you go. You have Kyle Duggar who made the interception. He's playing this pos position right here. He's the buzz guy on this side, okay? So what three double buzz means, it's cover three. And at the pre-snap, at the snap, uh, pre -snap, okay, here's what the Patriots do. It doesn't do. look like cover three. Yeah. It, it doesn't look like it right now, right? But you have one, you show one coverage pre-snap, one coverage post-snap. That's uh, what the Patriots like to do. But the important thing is it's third and 14. So the DB's got to know where is the first down marker. And this is the first down marker. Before the, the, the snap of the ball, you see two guys already lined up at the uh, where the first down marker is. All right? So this is what the alignment is pre-snap, post-snap. What you see here is Devin McCourty now goes to a third of the field. So it's cover three. This cornerback bails out, third of the field. This cornerback bails out, third of the field. These two guys right here, Adrian Phillips comes up to buzz, and you have Kyle Duggar comes up to buzz. Here's the thing. These guys don't have to really hardly move at all because they're playing the sticks because they need a first down. It's 15 yards. And the Jaguars make it very simple. Very, not very exotic kind of offense. They just run the inside wide receivers to a hook at the at four, 15 yards, hook right here. And that's as basic as it is. You have the, uh, the linebackers. They kind of uh, push out uh, this, this, this route before he comes in. Same thing here. You have, uh, that's where the buzz is. Buzz, buzz, third, third, third. The quarterback doesn't even see Kyle Duggar, who's sitting right here on this curl route. Basically, Kyle Duggar, all he has to do is shuffle a couple inside steps, and then he just broke inside on the ball, didn't see it. Here's Kyle Van Ooy squeezing this play right here. Kyle Duggar intercepts it and then takes it in the, you know, close to the goal line here. A very basic coverage, very basic route, uh, ru uh, routes by the, by the Jags. But the Patriots play perfectly because they play where the first down marker is and they disguise pre-snap uh, compared to what they do post-snap and it fools the young quarterback and they get a cheap interception. Yeah, stop me if you've heard this before, Ted. <laughs> Bill Belichick defense disguises and flummoxes a young passer. It happened again with Trevor Lawrence this time thanks to three double buzz. All right, for our Ted Neek here, let's talk a little bit more about Trent Brown, who is a, a, a true, Ted, <sighs> physical specimen. Yeah. Because the guy is 380 pounds, and I remember him coming out of college. The dude could windmill dunk. That's yep. a lot of weight yep. to be getting up in the air and throwing it down. We watched the best run of the day for the Patriots yesterday. It's a 15-yard run, Ramondre Stevenson, on one of those toss type of plays with Trent Brown, the play side tackle, pulling around. He's out wide open in space. And he picks on some poor corner who has no idea what he's doing, essentially gets blocked out of bounds. Ted, the Patriots have been running these types of plays all year, yep. and teams can't figure out how to stop them. How do they stop them back in the day? Because it feels like back in the day you could play it a little bit differently. You could. So the rules have changed this year, and Phil will get into that a little bit. For, for, uh, right, uh, all the way up until this year, the rule would be a defensive back, as an offensive lineman is pulling out to block them, the defensive back used to be able to go low and go at their knees and then just completely wipe – Wipe the guy out. So if you're then, if you're Trent Brown, yep. I used to as a corner. Yep. So, I would be able to come in and just go right for your. So, let, so let's show everybody. Shit. I'll be Trent Brown. All right, and we'll show how it used to be. The old rule. This is how it was when I played. Is that if Trent Brown, he's pulling, and you see him pull, and you see him out here in space, the cornerbacks would come up, and what they would do is they'd go down into the outside part of the knee and turn everything back, and that's it, like a, a bowling ball wiping, uh, wiping out a bunch of pins. You used to be able to do it that way, and that was how you stopped that play essentially. Can't do that now. Can't though, do it now, yeah. Ted, because they did. They changed the rule this offseason where there is no cutting offense or defense. or defense. So there's no hitting low like that anymore when you're outside what they call the tight end box, which is two yards outside the tackle box. And you can't do, and you can't, can't do it if you are within 
uh, or outside of, um, excuse me, five yards of the line of scrimmage, either side of the line of scrimmage. So if you're outside of this tight end box, no going low, offense or defense. And I think it's helped the Patriots because they love running these guys outside and they're just mauling these corners because there's nothing the corners can do to They have to play it honestly. Phil, so you brought this up earlier in the day. and It's a great point. The Patriots finding a way to exploit maybe what the new rules are. And this is a new rule. You can't take a guy out low anymore as a defensive back. off. So what happened in this on this play, so Trent Brown, uh, he, what he does is he – pulls and he's running around but this time the DB comes up and he can't cut so he takes on he takes me on high right and all I do is just push him out of the way I mean you see that DB just go flying out of the screen because he can't go low anymore so really what can this it was DB almost do like he tried to box him out almost he, he, he just, just ran by him this way and just got his back into you know, him you know he's like hey, coach I turned the play back inside no thank you he did but you weren't you didn't really make any impact on that play so the Patriots see a loophole in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a rule that they can exploit, and that's what they're doing, and they did a great job on this day, uh, play and really all season long with this. It's smart if you can do it. You have athletic offensive linemen, whether it's Trent Brown, yep. Isaiah Wynn. We saw Shaq Mason leading outside like yep. that in Buffalo time and time and time again on that G lead play. The Patriots leveraging the rules yep. to their advantage, seemingly. Smart. You know those offensive linemen have to like it when nobody's going at their knees.